I'm so proud. And, and you know, you say this, your coaches say this all the time. They know where I'm going with this. This, this is such a neat group of young ladies that have sacrificed. It was not always peaches and cream for us, but they, they, they stuck it out. They, they pulled together during adverse times, uh, tough times. We played a great non-conference schedule. It prepared us for what we were prepared, prepared preparing for today, and which I was very proud of, of what happened. Uh, the end result is preparation, and they did that. They came together, and just, just I hope we got one more in us, you know? That's what we're looking for. Coach, talk about that three-point shooting you guys had today. 10 of 10 of 21, another the season you, you guys were make, making shots, but did now, they made it going down for you. You know, it, it is, it's kind of funny because <laughs> I told the people out there, the TV people, I go, I said, you know, I guess we, we saved it for the tournament. <laughs> so, but you know what? I've lived a tough life this year, <laughs> if that's the case, waiting on them to do all that. But, but uh, they did. We played extremely well. We had a good inside game going. We had a good outside game going. And, and when you, you play this game of basketball, it's great inside, outside, and the biggie is defense. And Jada, you played both ends of the floor real well. And brought in Andrew Browns and foul trophy. You stepped up your game. Talk about that a little bit today. Well, um, I feel like I had to step up because one of our seniors, a great senior, had was forced to sit down on the bench, unfortunately, with five fouls. So my team needed me, and I just had to do what I know I had to do, what coach asked me every single game. Play both in the ends of the floor, let the game come to you, and that's what I did. Kind of going off that, can we speak about the physicality of this game? Mm -hmm. There was a ton of fouls. There was a major collision that happened in the first. All I want to say is UFC don't have anything on us after the day. <laughs> I'm going to get them all in the fight clubs and all that stuff to participate. No, it was, it is, you know, when we played earlier in the year, uh, it was a very physical thing uh, in, earlier in the year. And today was no exception. I mean, we, our kids knew it was going to be a battle, you know, but that's what you got to do. You know, when something's worth fighting for, you fight. You fight till there's nothing left. These kids, they fought. They fought yesterday. They fought today. I said, so, like I said, they got another one in them because the bottom line is I know they're going to be there trying. I know that without a doubt. And that's all you can ask your kids to do. And uh, so, uh, just like I said, a great, great job. Brianna, talk about uh, your shooting in the second half. You made three trays, really big trays. Uh, just talk about how you're feeling in that second half. First of all, I want to say all glory goes to God. Um, I say a prayer every uh, every before every game. I step on the court. I ask them to use me up, use me as your vessel, and uh, make unbelievers become believers for what He does with me as well as my teammates. And I believe He accomplished that today, as well as the whole entire week. more questions. Coach, what do you have to do to get ready for UT Martin in less than 24 hours? Well, we're going to have to have a lot of prayer. <laughs> That's right. Right? That's right. Like she said, we're going to do a lot of prayer. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I don't know how you prepare for Martin. You know, like we said, they're great inside, they're great outside, they play good defense, they do all the intangibles you got to have done. That's why they've been a champion for the last several years. So there's not really a total preparation. You just try to lace them up. Go out there and, and do what you got to do guard-wise and, and just, uh, you know, it's not a secret because they can run with you, they can shoot with you, they can guard you, you know. We just got to prepare to be consistent on both ends of the floor. All right. Thanks, guys.